It's a very bad news. But it just simply just got shot. <laughs> it was with his friend. And uh, the man escaped. And uh, they got stuck on the road. And Giuseppe got out and was shot on the road by Pope Francis's thug. Detective John Bellinora, an Italian American. I'll read to you. This has all just happened. Just, it was less than an hour ago that he said he and his friend were going to escape. This is a friend of Giuseppe Chavala, the one living with him under house arrest over the past few days. I'm not going to say my name for my own sake. I was granted access to this account as I knew the login information. I have at this moment the duty to announce a great sadness, which brings me to tears now as I'm writing this. On Saturday, April 13th, 2013, at around 3.45, in the province of Syracuse, Giuseppe Ciavella was shot and killed in the town of Casabili by Detective John Eleonora, most likely. Here is what happened. Giuseppe and I had escaped the house, which we were being held under house arrest at around 2.50 a.m. Our plan was to head north to a town called Isola. We had to pass another town, Casabili, through a street named Via San Leo which is where my friend was murdered. I had managed to make it to Isola and will most likely be moving from there as soon as possible. We had a contact drive us. He was only, he was only slightly wounded on his left hand. I was shot in the right leg and cannot walk at the moment. I will be treated by a doctor and nurse who are to come to where we are staying soon. I had retrieved my cell phone before we escaped in order to call for help if needed. Giuseppe was shot eight times from what I saw. It looked as if he was shot three times in the heart, twice in the head, and another three times around his rib cage. Apparently the detective is very well aware of how to use a gun, that dirty bastard. In terms of the whereabouts of D. Giuseppe's body, I believe the inspectors working with Detective John Eleonora had taken it with them and cleaned up the blood in order for people not to notice. He was killed on the road while running as the car had gotten stuck in a ditch, but we later got the car out of it. He died screaming in Italian. Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall is the Lord Jesus Christ, almighty and everlasting. Never before in my life have I witnessed such loyalty and trust, even to a man one has never met before in person. I myself now believe that Brian Marshall is God. Reposa in pace, amico mio. And then he has asked us to do a memorial to Giuseppe. He's sending through a photograph. We will do that when it comes through. He's also sending through a photograph of Detective John Bellinora.